Hi, I'm John Ward Sigu, and I'm here today uh, at the Fest to speak on a panel with Gregor Rocky and Marcus Hugh about state of affairs of uh, Asian American cinema. Ten years ago, when, or even actually it was longer, in the early late 80s, the term was coined to describe, I guess, myself, Gregor Rocky, Roddy Bogala, people who weren't really fitting into the scene. And uh, I always thought it was just like a sort of funny phrase, and I, I was hoping it wouldn't stick, but here it is, you know almost 20 years later and it's still sticking so yeah it's it's I'm half complimented and half sort of embarrassed by that term I mean I'm thinking like what should I do do I have to drink like green beer and get really drunk and throw things around I'm a bad boy you know uh, I don't know I, I ultimately though I think it's an honor I I, I like the, t the phrase I'm not gonna get a tattooed on myself but yeah it's cool I'm sort of self-centered as a filmmaker uh, I put stuff up that that's stuff I want to see in a movie things maybe I've never seen in a movie you know, things are, that I've never seen pushed, and that's sort of, sort of how I go about doing things. I'm not intentionally setting out to be different, but uh, I definitely want to put stuff up there on the screen that hasn't been done before, hasn't been seen before, hasn't been approached before, and uh, I'm also just like really heavily influenced by the music scene, so I'm into a lot of underground independent music, and I don't know, I think that reflects a lot in, in the movies and the aesthetic, like just the music, the uh, rhythm, just the rhythm, the uh, motion, the movement, all that stuff. I'm just right now working on getting my work out in DVD, so I have my movie Fame Horror. It was actually completed about 10 years ago, I won Best Feature of the New York Underground Film Fest, but that's just out in DVD. I've got Scum Rock and Modfuck Explosion on DVD, and now I'm going to go back to the really early works. I've got some really early movies that have sort of been forgotten because uh, they're only on 16mm and VHS, so that's a project for this year. More stuff on DVD, new movie, new script. Good stuff. That was, you know, it's, it was, I think, the most challenging movie uh, I've ever had to make. You know, I've always thought that if I had more money, a bigger crew, better equipment, it would make the filmmaking process easier. But it actually uh, made it a little more challenging. Uh, I really liked the way the project turned out. It was also my first uh, film where I actually approached the whole like, topic of Asian America. So I'm, you know, I've been waiting a while to do this, and I, I felt that I would do it when the time was right. And I, I'm really, I'm still like, Look, I still watch and I still really enjoy it. Uh, I would definitely work with someone like that again. I definitely feel that I've learned a lot in the last few years and I think I would play, play the game a little differently. But yeah, I'm still, I'm really happy I got to make the movie and I was funded and uh, that it exists in the world, you know. I'm uh, completing a script right now for a new project. So it's uh, gonna be a movie unlike any movie I've ever done before. I'm sort of like, a, my movies have sort of a, walk that line between exploitation and art film and I want to sort of push it more towards the exploitation so there's going to be a lot more action and just crazy stuff going on so yeah that's what I'm working on right now new script new movie excited